The option of constructing one new large high school for Warwick posed significant concerns, including logistics, feasibility, and equity. These issues, along with the need to incorporate 21st century learning for all students, remained a critical component in the consideration and planning process for two new high schools. We looked at all options, obviously, but to put 2,400 students in one location uh, in the city, it's hard to find the acreage necessary for a facility to support the students. Also, it's uh, difficult to find an area that would support the traffic flow to and from the schools. It was determined that the equity piece needs to exist where we have a high school in the south, we have a high school in the north. 1,200 is, is a reasonable number for a high school throughout New England. We have the traffic, traffic infrastructure to support two schools. We don't have the uh, traffic infrastructure to support one school. One school is, is a massive undertaking. It also is logistically very challenging and couldn't be done given the demographics of our city. So educationally, um, our current high schools are built for 20th century learning. So very traditional learning, teacher-centered, teachers at the front of the classroom, desks are in a row, students are working independently on, um, on information that was taught. Um, as far as facilities, they are outdated. They don't have the electrical power needed for technology. They just don't have the collaborative learning spaces needed um, for students to work together. So very traditional teaching and learning. Our schools have served us well. Uh, they were built and designed for 20th century learning. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, utilities to support modern day learning. 21st century learning is the accumulation of knowledge, work habits, and soft skills, including digital literacy, critical thinking, and problem solving that will help students lead successful careers in the modern workplace. Students are expected to develop skills like these while producing content for their classes. Unlike the learning experienced by previous generations, this mode of learning accounts for an increasingly digital learning landscape where students depend on accessing information via the internet and relying on virtual classrooms for content delivery. When you, you, know, you look at our existing buildings, you know, they are 60 and 50 years old. They are really beyond, number one, their usefulness. Um, the infrastructure is falling apart. Um, the electrical specifically is not set up for 21st century learning. There are very few electrical outlets in the, in the classrooms. You know, they're set up for overhead projectors. The teachers don't have anywhere to plug in their Chromebooks. You know, you can't charge anything. There's really no HVAC. And, you know, it, it, they're, they're really starting to fall apart. They, they need major renovations. So when you look at what renovations cost, versus the new school, we keep coming back to the cost differential and to give the community what they need for education-wise, we need to do something more than renovate our schools.